Hello. Hello, Taskmaster. Okay, your name and your story. My name is Plumzy. Your story. Hello, everyone. My name is Plumzy, and this is my story. Plumzy is a lady that came from a Christian home that knows what she wants and has not gotten what she wanted. Plumsy is a girl that strives to get what she wants. But this happened. At a point in her life, she was done with school, secondary school to be precise. And then she was having this ambition to become a lawyer. But at some point, destiny didn't happen. Success wrote the first jump. She got the highest score, but no money to go to school. She wrote the second, but no money. At some point, she got frustrated and tired. But with the help of her mother, Miss Annabelle, she got encouraged and then she pushed further. And success got admission into school, but not law. She got admission into theater arts. And then she started striving and pushing so hard. But at the point in the university, everything becomes sour. Lecturers, everybody just wants to be with her. Success is this girl that when everybody sees, she's very attractive. You know? But the lecturers wouldn't want her to rest. She became so ambitious that she wanted to just finish university and become something. At some point, Success wanted to be, be a lawyer. But then, she likes to art. She likes movies a lot. She likes to become an actress. But Destiny smiled at her and they gave her theater art. And Success started her journey. At some point, it was so difficult for success to pay her school fees. She struggled so hard. Her parents tried. But this thing actually shined on us. That was God when good things are happening. And then she graduated. Success graduated. And then she stepped pushing further. She did the NYC. She met a guy and they said dating. But Success never knew that this guy does not have anything. Just wanted to do something with her and then leave. But because Success had this free spirit and wanted to be with a guy, she wanted to be loved and she wanted to love back. She started a relationship and then it didn't work out. She started the first one, the second one, the third one. And the fourth one, but nothing seemed to work out. She was so frustrated and depressed. She would go into her room and cry her eyes out. She doesn't know what to do. She locks herself in the house. She cries. She moans. She cries. Because nothing seems to comfort. You know, things, things are not really working the way she wants. She got a job, but then she left. She met someone again, and they started dating. But because success knows what she wants, and she's striving to get it, but it's not really working as well. The relationship broke. And then she went into her room again and cried. Then my mom came into the house and like, what is the problem? Don't cry. Everything works together for good. I took it to her because I love my mom. She encouraged me to just be happy, go out, meet friends, make friends, meet people. But sometimes it's this kind of person that doesn't make friends. She's always in there in my room. And mommy advised 
Mama, just go into the internet. No, just watch movies. Do something that will make you happy. Don't be depressed. There's time for everything. And then I took advice of my mom. That was when luck shined at me. I met royalty reality TV show. Then I went to their page. I went to their videos and I said, I went to royalty reality TV show. They were trying to advertise season four and I auditioned for it. Then it started that the voting was not really going well. But luck shined with me. Yeah. Reality reality TV show picked me. And that's how my journey started. And today I'm here. And I'm happy. I don't think I remember anything called depression. Thank you very much, Reality Reality TV show, for giving me this opportunity and platform to showcase myself. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. This is my story. Thank you. Clumsy gold. Well, your story is quite touching. 